Hello everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and in this video it's time for episode 109 of my question and answer series. So starting with the Ultimate Tech Channel, good specs for gaming PC for FSX. By FSX I'm assuming you're referring to Flight Simulator X and as long as you meet the minimum requirements which are really low end compared to today's modern hardware, this game really doesn't need that much. I mean for the video card it needs just 32 megabytes of VRAM which is hardly anything. I mean, regular system memory, if you're using Vista 7 or 8, is just half a gig. And for CPU, it's only listing 1 gigahertz. And again, this is all the minimum requirements. So if you have like a Core i3 or an i5, even with an integrated GPU for one of those processors, you should be able to handle FSX fairly well. Maybe not at the highest settings, but as long as you have a dedicated video card, pretty much of any kind, made from maybe 2006 on up, this game should run just fine, so you really don't need that much for Flight Simulator X. Next up is from Cool Tiger Dude. What are your recommendations for a nice Dell laptop for under a $2,000 budget? That's a massive budget for a Dell laptop, so it would help if you would tell me what you plan on using this for. Otherwise, I would just spec it up to the maximum 2000 If you want something that's good for basic productivity apps and browsing the web, you could get that for under 500 bucks. If you want something that's a little bit more powerful for those things, in addition to maybe video editing and photo editing and some light gaming, you might want to spend upwards of $800. Anything more than that, I think, would be more specific for gaming because the higher-end processors and mobile video cards are quite a more money. So if we go to Dell's lap or <laughs> Dell's website, go to four home laptops and two on one PCs, and let's see, you can get an Alienware laptop since that's a part of Dell. But like I said, without really knowing exactly what you're looking for in an up to two thousand dollar laptop, I can't really give you any give you any recommendations. So like I said earlier, you can get something under five hundred dollars, such as the Inspire Online, for basic things. Or you could step it up to something a little bit faster for a little more hardcore tasks, such as the XPS line, is which is what you would want to get. Or you could step things up to even more for gaming and still fall within your $2,000 budget. So for that, you would probably want to get an Alienware laptop from Dell. And that's really it. I can't really help you any more than that. So that is it with episode, well, I can't really help you until I get more information, but until then, that is episode 109 of my question and answer series. Tune in next week for episode 10, or excuse me, 110. If you have any questions that you would like me to try and answer, leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.